Come shine, sing your heart. Come shine, sing my heart. Come shine, sing our hearts. Come shine, sing the guidance of the song. Let us tell right from wrong. Come shine, sing the guidance of the song. Gives us wisdom to tell true from false. Come shine, sing the calling from the song. Guides us to do good deeds in our lives.
We will we will fast 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 f
Human Solidarity Day for the progress as Dr. Hong has clearly indicated about this purpose of this day. This is a unique or special day as we are very well about and aware about the happenings or crisis prevailing throughout the global scenario. It is our duty to create the awareness on this special day for the progress and development of any society, state, system, leadership is considered to be an important factor. The more dynamic, articulated, far-sighted the leader is, the more progress of the society, state, system is expected to be. We are facing a crisis of casteism, communalism, corruption, criminalization, regionalization, identities. And it is our duty to create such type of awareness through the people, through the education insti educational institutions for the problems which are prevailing, that is inequality. Peace is the most vital issue, which is the need of the hour and international security measures should also be provided for maintaining the discipline and decorum among the people so that the people can live with dignity. Because we find that there is a lot of violation of human rights from global to local level, which we are facing. The government's duty is to provide all the types of facilities from birth to death. But we find that governance is creating a crisis for the people. Now it is our duty to create, to create the awareness so that we may save the people throughout the universe. And we hope that today we will take a place that we will try our level best to create the awareness among the people to save the people and planet. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Kumar. Um, I like how you mentioned to bring awareness to these topics. So it's very, very great that we're able to meet right now virtually to talk about these topics and help save all the people and also the, the planet. It seems like a big goal, right? Um, but uh, if we're willing
not just for teaching me swimming, but you, you, you taught me so much about the other things. Because I was talking about the courage, about self-confidence, uh, about empathy, even in my swimming classes. Uh, and he's now at the, at the bachelor's program because I was teaching him an associate program. And he mentioned, oh, I'm now in my uh, second year at the bachelor's level. And I, be I decided to become a writer and, and you inspired me a lot for that. So I, I think that was maybe one of my biggest achievements, just to hear that, you know, a very positive feedback from one of my ex-students, uh, which was so positive and makes such, such a difference in someone's life. Um, otherwise, the, my personal goals for 2021, uh, I want to mention that I'm just uh, a member, actually, I'm an initiator to to launch a global action for drowning prevention education. Because as you know, the drowning is one of the leading causes of death, especially at, uh, in youth and children, uh, unintentional causes of death globally. So uh, soon we will launch a global action for drowning prevention education. And um, I, I'll just mention now, if any of you are interested in, in this action, you are welcome to contact me. Um, now let's go back to solidarity. Uh, I was just reflecting today about what solidarity is and, um, and what is the future direction of solidarity under current circumstances in the world. So I, I want to mention that solidarity is actually one of the pillars of humanity. Therefore, we stand all together in solidarity, not to a specific country, religion or culture, but rather to the whole humanity. And solidarity is also an conscious action of mutual cooperation to achieve the same objectives and common goals. It is also an ethical norm that reflects sense of compassionate solidarity with other human beings. So when we talk about empathy and compassionate solidarity, it is necessary to listen what the other people say, to be compassionate, uh, to have a conscience to understand what the, what the other people try to tell us, how they really feel and try to reflect and to try to walk in their shoes, to fill with them completely. Because such mutual understanding, and you know, actually both self-understanding, understanding and plus understanding of the others will lead to a better communication and more effective achieving the common goals. In today's world, solidarity will definitely lead to overcoming the current crisis that we are all facing and bring back stability that we wish. The best way to fight a global crisis is solidarity. With this, I'm going to finish my reflections of solidarity and I'm going to wish you all the best health, much understanding, compassion, conscious and overall happiness in the new year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shreko. And I take all of that in, all of the beautiful wishes you gave us. And we hope all the people around the world have that too. I actually love your sharing about your, your interaction with your student. I can feel, you know, your second part of the sharing is reflected actually in your first part, you know, the idea about solidarity starts with perhaps just another one other person, but it's the way we interact and we can build off of that to create something more. So I like that. And, you know, you talked about yoga, I was thinking maybe we can learn something, right? <laughs> Some breathing <laughs> techniques. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, breathing techniques. Very Thank important. you so much, Jody. Thank you so of much. Of course. Thank you for joining us. Um, beautifully said. So uh, we also have more friends join us and we will go on to invite our next speaker. Um, how about Palak, Palak Tawari? Uh, she is a student from City Montessori School. She's also joined us a couple of times already. Beautiful speeches each time. 
Um, we like now like to welcome Palak Tawari. Hi, Palak. Hello, mom. Thank you so much, mom, for inviting me. Hello, everyone. Warm wishes from my country, India. And it's really very refreshing to meet you each time to share some some good thoughts. First of all, I would like to wish everyone a very happy International Solidarity Day. May this day we take some you know, pledges and fulfill them in the next year. Um, it has been a very difficult year, and now it is really very happy that uh, we are going into the next year. And many of us have been affected due to this pandemic, some way or the other. In whatever part of the world we are sitting, we are affected. And some of us are more affected, like, for instance, the older generations and the young children and people suffering from any health crisis. They had the worst hit. I would like to talk about two things that I think are required in today's world to strengthen bonds between people. First is education. Education is very important in today's world. Education in a sense that we have a rational and realistic approach towards everything we come across. Not just reading facts and figures and memorizing them, but implementing them so that we can rescue a person who's being prosecuted. I would also like to share one program which was started in my country in 1983, Each One Teach One program. This program extends help and support to the not so privileged children of the country. Every year we get a project from our school, we get like we get a toolkit in which there are some basic books and we are taught that we can teach any of the slum children or anyone who's not educated so that he or she can get a value education since he was not provided with that opportunity part time back i would also like to stress my second upon my second point and that is volunteer as i always say that today we live in a world where we need a lot of cooperation and collaboration among people we have joined the race of the, the, the atmosphere today is so competitive that we all have joined the race of becoming the most powerful and the most successful. But we often don't realize that what it needs for a person to live in today's world. It is not that competitiveness. It is cooperation and collaboration, which will only come if we extend a helping hand towards everyone a hand of empathy which aims at supporting people who are not that privileged. And I think all of you will agree when I say that the more we are increasing in number, the far we are going from each other. Everyone is ready to share happiness, but there are only a few people who share someone's grief and someone's sorrow. And I feel that we should be some of those few who extend a helping hand to share someone's pain. It surely feels beautiful to see all of you here on a single platform to discuss the problems of the world. Ending my speech at, in an, on an optimistic note, I would like to say that we all should strive for becoming someone who's ready to help, ready to assist, ready to extend a helping hand towards everyone. Thank you. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year since we are meeting this for the last time. And I would also like to share my achievement of 2020, just one achievement, and that is getting onto this platform. I'm really very delighted to be here every time and I extend a heartfelt gratitude to Judy Ma'am, to the uh, organization for inviting me to share my good words. Thank you so much. 
Thank you, Palak. Your speech always brings a smile to my face because I can feel how sincere you are. And um, once again, can you help us re remind the audience how old are you? Uh, Mom, I'm right now 16 years old. 16 years old. Very wonderful. Like you're 16, we can imagine your future a beautiful one. Um, I don't know what I was doing at 16, but I think you're doing a great job. So once again, thank you for joining us in beautiful speech. Appreciate appreciate your achievements and the projects that you've shared with us. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Mom. And so Palak mentioned that we met on this platform. Um, we actually have a special gift. I would like to share with that, um, share with everyone of what that gift is through a short video. Um, and after the, the video, I, we will also post on the chat box this special presence that we want to share with you. Wishing you 2021 every day. You'll be reminded of this platform and the beautiful things that we've shared together. Please enjoy the video of the IC Day calendar we like to give everyone. The IC Day calendar for 2021 features 15 conscience quotes from Dr. Hong Daozi, the President of the Federation of World Peace and Love. When I received the assignment to create 15 illustrations to accompany the quotes, I feel honored. At the same time, it was an immense challenge. Conscience is doing the right thing. While Dr. Hong explained this concept very clearly, it is not an easy subject to interpret with images and forms. In fact, I spent the next three months studying each quote over and over word by word, and making notes. The project was not unlike completing a complicated jigsaw puzzle. Fortunately, daily meditation helped me stay inspired and focused during this long creative process. Little by little, I was able to put everything on paper, fill in the missing pieces, and finally finish all 15 illustrations. I chose bright colors and universal graphics to tell the story of conscience. A heart with compass needles represents conscience as a guidance for all actions. The calendar closely reflects how conscience is crucial in our life and will ultimately bring peace and love to the world. Conscience starts out as a sprouting seed. As the months go by, conscience brings self-awareness, nourishes our character, connects us with like-minded people, gives us wisdom and strength, guides us, unites us. And finally, conscience will change the world. The year 2020 has been difficult for all of us, with a pandemic and many natural disasters. It is with our sincere hope that the 2021 IC Day calendar will bring you much joy and positive energy to do the right thing and help one another as a humanity. This calendar is now available from our website and social media as a precious gift to you all. Feel free to download, print, display the calendar, and please share it with your loved ones. Thank you. Happy holidays and Happy New Year. And that is our special gift for all of our friends, um, a calendar for you to use in the next year. And hopefully you'll re be reminded of all the beautiful smiles that you've seen during our virtual platforms. And in a little bit, we will post the link in the chat box for you to go directly to the site to download the calendar. Um, and we have more friends join us, I see. And maybe Mr. Oliwa Bryan from Greener Earth for sustainable development could join us to talk about your ideas and achievements, um, goals for next year. 
Liwa, are you around? Yes, I'm around. Thank you for this opportunity. I don't know if you are seeing me. It's already dark in our country. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's you. I'm uh, do I need to really have a video where I can just talk? Um, I think your choice, yeah, whichever you feel more comfortable. Okay, let me put on more lights. Then... Yeah, uh, we have actually, a very... Yeah. I'm glad to be taking part in this... Uh, uh, what I may call conference on uh, International Human Solidarity Day. Uh, I'm representing the sustainable uh, Greener Earth for Sustainable Development. This is a uh, an initiative started by uh, my colleague called uh, Miriam Momo, and uh, I'm representing her. She's unable to attend, so I'm the one representing. Uh, 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 today we are talking about human solidarity and uh, uh, it kind of relates to whatever Miriam is doing in, a, in her uh, initiative, the Greener Earth for Sustainable Development. For her, the aim is to uh, make the earth green again. Uh, let me start by uh the topic of the day today the solidarity and uh simply solidarity to me means being united or uh working uh, mutually in uh, a given group and supporting each other and uh there are certain things we need to have in place for us to reach to this unity that we desire as humans and uh, uh, one of it is uh, creating a peaceful environment and uh, actually education as uh, the speaker before me just uh, talked about. And uh, these are the things that will bring about solidarity. If we are empowered and if you are, we are conscious about our environment and the people around us, uh, that's when we can be able to realize solidarity. And uh, uh, to talk about the achievements of this year, achievement of this year, the, we have uh, managed to improve our, uh, our, our staff, if I may say, our staff, uh, who are uh, working hand in hand with us to help us uh, reach a wider group of people in educating them and uh, uh, telling them to plant more trees and uh, actually uniting them and uh, that is it. Uh, the plans for next year, we are planning to even uh, expand on our projects which are to educate uh, to educate the youth and uh, the elderly on the importance of uh, maintaining a clean and healthy environment and uh, through the education i believe we are going to unite them and uh, that so will bring uh, uh, solidarity and in a way improve the even you know right now we are facing a challenge in climate climate change so if we unite against uh, climate change that is going to work uh, uh, for us in a good way. Yeah, uh, that is what I can contribute. I'm sorry, this is my first time. This is our first time. I think we were invited by a lady called Yagi. And uh, it's a pleasure to take part in this. And uh, I believe we'll be doing more of this as time goes by. Thank you. Thank you, Oliwa. I mean, talking about education, the youth and the elderly. Um, so I think it's great that you're encompassing a wide range. And also you mentioned being conscious. Um, and I like being conscious and use your conscience and we can accomplish many, many things. So thank you once again.
Um, next, maybe we could invite Pedro. Um, we have Pedro Javier Retagui Pizango from LDS. Hi, Pedro. Are you there? Can you hear us? Hello, Pedro. Okay. Maybe we can come back to Pedro. Um, and I noticed that we do have our friend, Ms. Jemai Duha, uh, who is with us from the beginning, and we can invite her to share. She represents Mustafa Karif Middle School. Welcome. Hello, Ms. Jemai Doha. Oh, she also left. <laughs> no worries. Um, perhaps we can invite, let me see, Mr. Endel Stamberg. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> we welcome I can hear you. Hello. <laughs> we can welcome you to share with us. Uh, Mr. Endel Stamberg is from Frida's for a future. Welcome. Yeah, uh, it's nice to meet you all, and I'm very honored to take part of this conference. <laughs> yes, uh, achievement this year in the climate movement is we uh, whilst we achieved many uh, awareness about the climate crisis. Uh, the next year it would be difficult. Uh, the fight for climate is more difficult as we all the most many of us thought and we must keep uh, the movement strong uh, it needs power and we need uh, much solidarity uh, because it's not the only difficult uh, that the in the, uh, kind, uh, in the fight there is a difficult because of the pandemic m made this more difficult, made it, uh, do you hear me? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> you <hear you> perfect. <laughs> yeah, and we must uh, stay together and we, uh, my uh, role is, is I, uh, to support strikers, to, uh, to help them to say, Go on, keep on, keep on fighting. That's uh, my role in this movement, and I made it on Twitter and uh, on Instagram. And I think it's uh, uh, very important to support people who support. There are uh, solo strikers all over the world. They stand there and there is a, a sign, and there's a, my first strike. And then you must say yes. That's great what you are doing. You go on, keep on fighting. You are not alone. Mm. And uh, I think that's very, very, very important the next year to keep the movement strong and uh, not uh, start to, to surrender. Yes, that was all I, what I have to say. Thank you. And I notice it's a little bit darker for you over there. Is it nighttime? From where yes, you are? there's nighttime. It's, uh, it's uh, afternoon. Yes, uh, the days are very short. It's just uh, ah. half past uh, four in the afternoon. Ah. Yeah, the shorter days. Um, yeah, shorter, shorter very, days. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and I appreciate the work that you do. And mm. as you were speaking, and it's, I get the image that you know we are all brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with that, mm -hmm. we can unite mm -hmm. as humanity mm -hmm. to making this world better. So thank you, and I love seeing your smile. <laughs> you seem very happy. Is, I think it's our uh, to f that all movements, uh, the environmental movements, the climate movements, uh, work together. That's very, very important. We stand in solidarity with all together and it's uh, motivating when all work together. Yes, definitely. So thank you once again, Mr. Mm -hmm. Lemberg, for joining mm -hmm. us. 
um, mm. and we look forward to seeing you and more in the future as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we like to welcome perhaps Halima and Mom from the Climate Action Team. Hi, Halima. Are you around? Okay, maybe you can try a little bit. Um, I see Josie, Josie on our Google Hangout. Would you like to share with us your thoughts? Hello. Uh, Hello. Sorry. Hello. We have both. Um, hi, Do Doha. I think you're. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry for the technical. Yeah. Yes. Hello, so everyone. Would you like I'm to sorry. Fixing your camera a little bit. Um, and maybe I can yeah, um, I'm trying so uh, I'm trying to to log out and to turn back okay. but I lost lost the connection so I'm oh, sorry okay. for this I think I have a bad network today so nice to meet you uh, and nice uh, to see you. Um, but we can't see your face <laughs> okay, okay I'm trying to fix it okay, okay. so uh, I will share just uh, for you just 10 10 minutes of presentation, it's not a presentation, I just recorded it um, quickly because, <laughs> because okay, so I will just uh, start to, to share my screen, I don't know if, if I have, uh, okay, we can try if it, um, yeah, no, it's okay, we can, I can share, yeah, it's okay, I can share my screen, it's okay. Yeah, you can see my screen. Yes, we can right? see the screen. So maybe around yeah. five minutes because we have a lot more um, of our friends. But yes, we can see the screen. Hello, everyone. So happy introduction. Doha, turn off your webcam, Doha. Sorry? Turn off, off your webcam. Your screen is not clear. Oh, yeah, Monia, okay. Hello, Monia, how are you? So, uh, I don't know what happened. It was, it's everything, oh, okay. I turn off my camera to present, right? Okay. Now, I think, now it's, it's okay. You can see my screen, Monia? Yes, yes, perfect. You can see the screen. Huh? I can see the from. I can see it presented. All right. So welcome um, with the presentation. We can see it. So it's Mr. Mai Doha from Mustafa Karif Middle School. Welcome. Um, Doha, I think with the technical difficulties, maybe you can test it out again um, and we'll move on and then come back to you later. Is that okay? Um, there's no sound on, on our ends. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, okay. Maybe try signing, try signing off and then signing off. Okay. okay. So, there's problem of, of sound, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe you could share with us uh, right now, maybe... Uh, a few, you know, within two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or, I want to yeah. just, I want to just say it uh, just by okay. word. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately. Okay. So, uh, I will just sorry for some.
So as I say, uh, as a computer science, I believe that we should create awareness in people about the culture of solidarity and why it's important people can do their part uh, by donating to a relief organization to help uh, to help people out of poverty and find their own way to help the poor in their community. The aim is also to find people who are like-minded, which should lead to helping more people in need. International Human Solidarity Day celebrate the existence of the World Solidarity Fund. On this day, the UN raises many initiatives that help in reduce in poverty and proclaim International Human Solidarity Day. Uh, so for me, I believe that education can deliver people from poverty and only education can empower community. So as educator, I, I believe on the power of education to change the world. Uh, I, did, I teach SDGs because uh, I believe that only SDGs uh, can empower youngest to be uh, a great citizen and um, uh, a big change maker. So why really we need, it's not it's no more a question of lecturally to, to, to not teach SDGs in our curricula. We should just teach SDGs. It's uh, okay. So, uh, so I want to just say it uh, only okay because my presentation doesn't work. So I done many present uh, uh, PBL project international international uh, project uh, uh, PBL and SDGs project. It's about uh, it's about uh, reduce uh, inequality. It's about quality of education. Uh, it's about uh, uh, it's about uh, gender equality. Uh, and many other goals. So I want to just focus in one activities that I've done uh, since, and I start to start since four years, and it's 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 ongoing until now because uh, it's really something great that it's become by the code. Uh, if uh, okay, one of my students one day tell me uh, uh, if you talk to me with a language that you understand that it's go to my mind. If you talk to me with my language, it goes to my heart. So we, uh, we, we, we start this activity, it's called Talk to Our Heart to teach my student global citizenship, common value between countries around the world, the globe, which will hopefully reduce misunderstanding between individual and cultures and help them respect different perspective. The global dimension should therefore be reflected in the attitude of my student. So here I link it to goal number 10, reducing equality within and among countries to the goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable quality of education and promote lifelong learning opportunity for all. And you can't imagine the real impact in my student because uh, in, in each activities, in each virtual meeting, we should learn about custom and tradition and language of other countries. And uh, the other countries should learn about custom and tradition and our native language, it's about our Tunisian, our dear Tunisian. So this point, after, after uh, the session, many students uh, change their mind. They not uh, feel a little anymore about some developed country. They feel proud of themselves and they respect other more and more. And it's really this activity lesson, lesson uh, the, the iniquity and the inequality between, uh, between students all over the world, okay? So uh, there is uh, there's many, uh, many uh, activities and especially uh, I wanna, I wished, okay, I wish to to share a part of my presentation about shared labor because I did a great work, a voluntary work with some colleagues in the rural area, in, in our rural area in the north south of Tunisia. So we uh, we 
uh, we see that many students are dropped up early from school because of the heart condition, because of poverty. So uh, I decide to go there to aware them about the value of education and the severity of the child labor in their age. So here we are achieving, uh, especially uh, there is a, a whole place, a whole village, they send their girl, they, they, their daughter, uh, the nine year old, imagine, and 10 year old to be a maid, to be a maid, imagine, okay? So no one and two and three parents, there's a hundred, there is a hundred of family send their daughter to be maid, okay, are the 10 year old, there are kids, only kids, they have, they need care and they need affection. So, so we are trying our best to help them to lessen uh, this really catastrophe, okay. So, but we are, uh, we are optimistic and we believe that that if we are together, solidarity is the only tool for re reducing inequality and social injustice in the world. Solidarity leads to the sustainable development of people. For this reason, it's essential that it be used for the benefits it can offer to a particular cause. Solidarity can be cultivated through education as children or adults and we are strong together and teacher and only education can change the world teacher affects eternity he can never tell where his influence stop <laughs> okay thank you so much thank you, <laughs> thank you I like so much. the stories you shared i can feel i can uh, uh, the words never spoken in english judy i'm sorry <laughs> my words no, never no. spoken you know Arabic it's, it's our native language and the French is our first form language so uh, I can't sorry my presentation doesn't work I have lots of story about um, about uh, about uh, inequality about iniquity about uh, how to be better how to to how to uh, we can we can together we can be better and stronger together and I have my dear colleagues here it's my idol Mrs. Monia Mahmoudi from from Sidi Bouzid, it's the, the, the city of the revolution, of the Tunisian revolution. And the, she's trying her best to be a leader in this change. We are trying together to do our best, endless, uh, endless, the, the, the bad condition. Unfortunately, I said, I said this, okay? We don't have much, um, much, uh, <laughs> Encouragement, okay, to to to, ha to 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 achieve our dreams quickly. We are fighting, but we will we will achieve our dreams, inshallah. Together, we are strong and happy. International uh, so Human Solidarity Day for all, inshallah. 2021 uh, will be better for all of us. Thank you so much. Et oui, merci. <rire> ah, oui, merci, je vous en prie. Je vous en prie. <rire> Bienvenue, ma chère, OK? Thank you so much. I could uh, imagine the kids feeling from, you know, not so confident to empowered. And you're, what you said about it's hard, but we're trying, we're trying. And it kind of goes back to what Mr. Stanberg was saying, you know, these conversations to help each other, encourage each other to keep going, keep going. That's what we can do, and I hope this platform will continue to serve for that in the next year coming because it's a long battle. We're always going to have challenges, but the positive energy is what will allow us to continue to move forward and find new ways, new solutions, and it all comes back to the heart, to the conscience. We all have the solution there. So thank you once again, and I apologize to Josie. We called on you. Um, but we were able to get through with the speech from the still hot and it's beautiful. So now back to you, Josie. Welcome. Hi, uh, hello everyone. Hope everyone can hear me. Hope you can hear me. Yes, we hello. can hear you perfect. Okay, that's great. 
Uh, my name is Wandoga Joseph. I'm, I'm not called Josie. Josie, I just use, I just use it like my, my mom used to call me Josie. So I just love it since childhood. So I use it everywhere. But my name is Wandoga Joseph. I'm from Uganda. It is Uganda, that's Africa. Uh, this is very, very important to me and to everyone. You know, meeting different people from different countries is really amazing and I love it. And I would like to thank all the organizers for this. I really appreciate it. Uh, talking about solidarity, solidarity means unity. Togetherness, uh, brotherhood, that's solidarity. Being there for each other is solidarity. I'll go straight to my achievements for this year. One of the biggest achievements is being hosted here. Many people may look at this as something very small, but being hosted on this platform is very important to any person who is looking at changing the world. Because as per now, I'm talking to more than uh, people from different countries, more than, I'm talking to more than 10 countries. So to any person who is aiming at changing the world, uh, being hosted here is one of the biggest achievements for this year. So I'm very happy. Uh, the other achievement is that uh, just a, a few months a few months back, I was able to reach out to AIDS patients. Sometimes when people get AIDS, there is a way they feel. Someone feels as if they are less important. They feel like they should leave the world. They feel like the, their communities may not even accept them. So I had to take an extra mile to go and meet these people, talk to them, and show them that they are more than important. We need them in the world. I had to show them that there are people. I, I don't. I don't want to condemn people with, with with cancer, but I had to tell them that there are people with cancer. So you having HIV, you're moving, you're eating, you're just on medication. So I I had to show them that there are people with cancer. There are people with diabetes. Uh, there are people with pressure. Just a mere small thing. Someone can die from nowhere. But for you, you're just having AIDS. So I had to give them that strength. Uh, the other thing, uh, I was able to solicit some funds. Of course, I'm funding young children. I majorly deal help young children get education, get their basic needs. As you can see, some children have been passing at my park. I'm at the orphanage as by now. So I had to solicit some funds for these children to enable them acquire education. Uh, but only that this year, uh, we got a problem of COVID-19 and they only started one term. Every year we have three terms, but they only started for one term. Uh, I, I, also, I was also able to, co to create a coalition of youths to promote the rights of the children. Different youths in the world, you find them, they don't believe in themselves. But I had to bring them together to, to show them that however much you're younger, there is something you can do to better the world. It's not you shouldn't look at the age that you're having. You shouldn't look at the size. You might be small today, but tomorrow you're a big man. So the moment you you begin on your journey very early, the moment that means you're changing the world at a very early age. So I had to talk with, to these youths to tell them to work with me, to reach out to different communities. We teach people. Those ones using drugs, we counsel them, we tell them, this is very bad, this is not what you're supposed to do. Shouldn't be addicted just to a drug. Be addicted to only good things. Why should you be addicted to, to, to smoking? Why should you be addicted to alcohol? Why don't you get addicted to helping people you get? So I had to reach out to people, tell them, this is very bad, and bring them together to promote the race of other people. Uh, I was also to I was also able to to, to create awareness uh, about about the COVID nineteen. Of course, in Africa, people used to think COVID nineteen was just a joke. People didn't. Up to now, there are people you tell COVID nineteen is there, and they don't even believe in it. So we had to go an extra mile to tell these people this is a disease. People people in Africa, you know, there is a way different people think differently so they used to think in africa it is not there so we had to move to different homes to different people we tell them we teach them 
you are supposed to wash your hands, you're supposed to do this. It may look to be something small, but yet we are saving people's lives. Some of the challenges that I have faced is the underlook, underlooking. As you can look at me, I'm a very young man, I'm very small. So different people looked at me. You, you talk to someone and someone is like, look at this young boy, what are you saying? You get. You reach out to people with AIDS. You tell them, you know, this is not all. You still have the world ahead of you. And someone is telling you, you're still young, you haven't seen the world, you get. Just because of the age that I have, just because of my sales, you, I, people used to underlook us. Uh, inadequate funding, obviously all these projects go with money and I had to solicit for these funds from different people. You don't just wake up and tell these youths come together, we are supposed to do this and the other, and they just come. Some of these people need money. You cannot tell someone stop smoking, someone is on the street and you tell them just leave the street. No, someone may not just leave. All these people, the moment you tell him to leave the street, he needs a business, you have to at least put in something like a hundred dollars, you can start a business. You can sell tomatoes. You can sell this. So we had to do all this. I get some money. You go to the street. You tell you tell someone you're smoking. You're drinking. Why don't you start selling water? You give you give you give them you give them, them that money. So I face a problem, a challenge of inadequate funding, uh, threats from different people. Of course, however much I was helping people, there are people who aren't happy with what I was doing. You reach out to a community, there are smokers, you tell them smoking is bad, but just because some people have already tarnished their minds, some people have already switched off their minds, they turn against you. They start fighting you, you find this one is shouting at you, someone, someone almost wants to beat you, just because you're telling them the truth. What you're doing is bad. Uh, I also face a of course this one is connected to the threat from the people the poor attitude of people poor attitude of people the people weren't interested of course they weren't interested some some weren't interested in what i was doing however it was helping my community uh my plans for next year this year i haven't done a lot just because of the covid 19. in fact we are almost going back to the lockdown my plans for next year of course we have, we have, we are having a challenge. We are having a challenge of sac child sacrifice. It is not so rampant. It's not that they are killing a lot of children, but it is still in Africa. There are communities you go to. As I'm a Christian, you find another, an, another you find someone believing in, is a traditionalist. Someone doesn't believe in your God. So these people believe in, they believe that their gods feed on people. So they don't, they, they don't, they keep on killing young children for, 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 their, for their gods. So we have to move to these communities to tell them that what you're doing is bad. However much is your culture, the world is changing. Shouldn't step back, you shouldn't stone those stupid, have I used a very bad word? But they shouldn't use, kill, they shouldn't use their gods as a way of killing our children. So next year is what I, I wanted to aim at. I wanted to aim on that, to reach out to communities, uh, to help them to, to help them overcome this, to help them understand God, and maybe soliciting. Of course, schools are about to open, and the, soon students will start studying. So I wanted to help more children join school, especially the orphans, Thank you very much for, for listening to me. Thank you, um, Josie. I'm so happy to be yeah. hosted on this platform. Thank you. Thank you. And I think you will be able to achieve your goals that you have set. The first time I know about uh, Wanoga Joseph is the beautiful video you presented in the beginning. So, Josie, for short. Um, <laughs> And I like what you said, be addicted to good things, which I think is a perfect moment for us to share with you a beautiful, beautiful exactly. surprise, I would say. Exactly. Um, thank you. So thank you, Josie. Um, yeah, so I'm going to share something very beautiful with you right now. Uh, Albert yes. Einstein has written a letter to his daughter saying, 
There is an extremely powerful force that, so far, science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others, and is even behind any phenomenon operating the universe, in the universe, and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. And so now we like to take this opportunity to wish you all the best for the coming year with this next song. Let love light up your life. Enjoy. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> That is our special wish for all of our friends who have joined us online today and also watching live on YouTube and through the social media platforms. Hope you enjoy the song and I know many more friends joined us a little bit later and I was wondering if um, those who have joined us can turn on your cameras and all of our friends can turn on your cameras for a little bit. Do we see you? <laughs> Great, a few more. Um, and I know some of our friends who have been with us, but with the cameras perhaps off, um, we can turn it on for a little bit. And I see Halima Imam, are you around? Um, Jose Angel, are you around? 
Ah, there we go. See your faces. And we did a peace sign earlier. I was wondering if I can invite you to do a love sign. As we said, love is the most powerful force. And we'd like to invite you. I have my camera ready. I'll take a picture to document all of us who have joined in on this great effort. So with your camera on, on the count of three, I will prepare mine first. And I'll take a camera of us with the heart sign you can do a small one too <laughs> some people do this some people do this some people want to do a big one your choice all right so i'm getting my camera ready on the count to three we can say love together okay one two three share your love and your smile <laughs> Beautiful, you guys are awesome. Um, and thank you for joining us. We are having a very wonderful session hearing your achievements and also your goals for the next year. Um, and we have a few more speakers who would like to share with us your thoughts on um, the topic today. And maybe we can welcome Mr. Amrani from Batna University to share with us your thoughts and we are running a little bit short on time so maybe around three minutes for each of our speakers so welcome mr amrani um, be sure to unmute your mic so we can hear you and your smiling face i see your smiling face already so be sure to unmute your mic <laughs> Oh, Mr. Amrani, can you find the unmute? <laughs> Not yet. Um, if you could help us unmute so we can hear you. <laughs> Maybe a little bit technical difficulty from <laughs> Mr. Amrani's side, but I see the beautiful face and I'm <laughs> very encouraged by that at least. Um, so if you could help us try out the microphone first and we'll hopefully we can come back to you in a little bit. Okay, so we'll come back to you um, with the mic. Uh, can we invite Jose? Jose Luna, I see you on Google Hangout to share with us. Hello, Jose. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. <laughs> oh, I have another. Uh, yes, we have Mr. Hussein. Welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to hold my um, camera. Okay, and um, uh, we know yeah. that um, Mr. Hussein is on charge of project coordinator of Nigerian Youth SDGs Network in Nigeria. Welcome. Thank you so much, um, Judy, for having me. Um, my name is Yunus Ibrahim Hussein. I am the youth um, director at um, Nigerian Youth SDGs Network. And um, what we do at the network is um, mobilizing young people and then equipping them with skills and capacity building um, um, skills to ensure that they become great change makers, advocate for the sustainable development goals across the country, Nigeria. Um, currently, I reside in northern part of Nigeria. And then I'm sure if you've been following the global news lately, you will understand that um, We've been bedeviled by um, a lot of crises, especially that has to do with, um, you know, social crisis. And then the Boko Haram is there and a whole lot of um, issues with securities and all. But we're still not relenting. Plus COVID-19, um, you know, it hasn't been easy, it's been tough. But then um, we keep pushing hard. We keep pushing hard. We keep making, making sure that um, many of these young people do not lose focus, despite the fact that many are out of school. Schools are down and closed. Um, you know, all through the COVID-19, the university student cannot access education, a whole lot of troubles, but then we keep our hopes high. Um, so what we do, in fact, basically, I must say that um, over the period of the COVID, I've tried as much as possible in my capacity to organize virtual um, hangouts for young people who will kind of, you know, in engage and interact and, you know, connect mentors to mentees so that they keep the connection and then keep the motivation going. So when we talk about solidarity, you know, we've come this far, um, you know, due to the world, like due to solidarity, um, you know, when Yagi first spoke to me about the, um, the, the, the platform, I was deeply excited and then I like what you do. And then I told her this is exactly the platform that many young people, um, you know, need, especially now in the 21st century. So um, 
basically, I, I, I must commend the efforts that you people have been putting in place, and despite the fact that we still have challenges, but then we did not want to, you know, make that as an excuse to relent. In fact, last two days, um, on Friday, uh, my network, um, we've been doing this for since the um, early hours of the year, uh, sorry, the month, early, early, early December, um, my network organized uh, a youth lab to, um, you know, the youth lab is aimed as, at engaging governments to ensure that young people have decent um, access to jobs and then opportunities. So we organize it across the 36 um, states in the country and then the federal capital territory. Um, in fact, I curated mine um, three days ago, that was on Friday, sorry, two days ago, that was on Friday. And then we have a lot of young people engagement and the interaction was superb. They were interested, they were happy. And then, you know, with this, we get to understand that we're building more leaders. We're, we're, we're building more um, change agents uh, who will serve as ambassadors in their own respective domains and communities. Um, so we, we are looking forward to positive results, um, you know, looking forward to 2021. 20, um, we have a design action plan that is aimed at, um, you know, putting up leadership um, programs um, for young people across all the states monthly leadership program where they will be equipped with the skills that they needed to understand like the capacity because we understood that um, apart uh, from the capacity um, building um, workshops they equally need um, funding and then we will teach them how they can apply for grants how they can you know reach out and partner with your government in their local um, you know states um, you know local government um, um, officials how they can try as much as possible to connect to people who will be more like philanthropists who will help their projects. You know, we as um, as an NGO, we cannot take all the burden altogether. We are supporting, but then we cannot support, you know, with the whole financial um, implications. But then we believe that when they have those skills in order to, um, you know, make themselves available, in order to show interest in the work they do and then keep their hopes high, they, they, they will have support from especially um, some of the government officials and all so th that's all we've been doing so i'm sure by 2021 um you know we'll foster more peace we're looking forward to establishing um more connections with other um, people from other parts of the continent at ghana and other out of african countries i have fewer friends um you know from morocco algeria um you know south sudan a lot of people you know engagement so solidarity has brought us this far because um, we had this opportunity to network with people from all parts of the world. And in fact, having this right now is as a result of solidarity and love. And then we come this far because of this works that we're doing. And we're hoping to do more. We're hoping to, you know, build more bridges and, you know, get more children into schools, get more, um, you know, um, young people to be engaged into decent jobs, to have access to decent jobs in their communities. And then lastly, um, we, when you talk about gender, because I am a pro advocate of gender equality and equally an advocate for environment. Um, you know, when you talk about a healthy environment, I'm equally in. This is what I do basically. This is my professional uh, background in the environment and then ensuring that people can keep keeping the environment clean. So um, we will believe that by the end of 2021, access to jobs will not be on the base of gender because a lot of issues have been happening with gender. And then, you know, the women have been maltreated. They're not getting access to, um, you know, decent jobs because they believe they will have to take leave, go for maternity leaves and all that. So we, we, we ensure that um, by the end of the year, the government will pressurize the government to put on a policy that will, and then, you know, bridge that gap of, um, you know, getting access to jobs, especially for the young girls and then the women. And then we, we believe that um, by the end of 2021, would have achieved quite a result and then you have something important and reasonable to uh, you know stand for thank you so much thank you thank you i uh, you know you you guys have really put in all the work that you can to make things better and it's encouraging for all of us to hear we're all in different parts of the world doing our best to change little by little so thank you for your efforts thank you, um, thank you so much and now I, I see Mr. Amrani, your your mic is on. Are you able to share with us? Hi, Mr. Amrani, are you around? 
I know with virtual platforms, sometimes we have trouble with the mics and everything, but that's okay. Um, I was going to call on Jose, but I think he left the platform as well. Uh, we could maybe invite Ms. Vandana Shaldari, co-founder of Rolling Nature and Initiative Earth, to share with us. And we have a, do have a few more, so try to limit the speech a little bit around three minutes. And we do have the network on social media if we want to share with each other, connect with each other. So thank you for your understanding and welcome. Thank you. Hello everyone, and yeah, I'll keep it simple and short, but yes, it has been a wonderful journey with Ik Day and Fopal, and I would uh, like to congratulate all of you who have joined here, and also those who have not joined here, <laughs> and we have been doing all the efforts that we can to make this world a better place to live in with our conscience, and I, am being, uh, I have been really uh, happy to join Ik Day through Yagi. She invited me and uh, this has been a very good opportunity to come on the global platform like this where we all have different agendas but we are working for our earth and people who are here. And uh, my organization has been working for environmental awareness for past seven years and I'm into a green business. So I understand uh, the pain of all the environmentalists who have been working day and night to raise their voices for greener earth to uh, reach the 2030 environmental agenda to make this earth a better place. And uh, I have been looking forward to 2021 because in uh, 2020 uh, we have been struck by the ca uh, COVID pandemic. And it has been a struggle for all of us because the plans that we were sticking to were delayed. And there have been a lot of things that were planned, but now that has been pushed further. So now when the vaccine arrives or maybe the things normalizes, whatever plans that we have, like in India, we do this plantation drives and we create awareness programs. We need people on ground, right? We have missed all that this year. So I'm thinking that maybe in 2021, we will do more groundwork and uh, we will reach out more people. I'm also involved with various organizations, which are like, uh, there is a center for uh, rehabilitation for AIDS children. That's an orphanage and also many other organizations which have human uh, which address humanitarian issues so we have been away from all of them like in life so we have been virtually connected but i'm looking forward to 2021 we'll do all the work that we can and we will fill in the gap of 2020 and then we can always you know look forward to the better things that we have planned and they are reaching to the achieved target so from India, I am thanking all of you for doing the great work and I really thank from my heart to Ikte. So uh, we have been all together this year and this is the best thing that has happened to me in the COVID pandemic that we I found this organization and we have been all connected in, uh, at, on Twitter and please stay connected. Let us all come together and work together. Thank you very much. Very happy holidays to all of you and wishing you a very prosperous and fresh 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we all wish for a better 2021 and it, I think it will really take all, all of us all of our efforts, we continue to push for the positive energy. And yes, through this year, because of this virtual um, events, we have connected with many, many people around the world. And we hope to continue to push for that positive energy to help more people um, join us on this effort to make for the betterment of our future. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you. And um, I know Nandini Nick Dixit from Forest Water Conservation Society has been with us for a while. Um, are you able to share with us your thoughts? Nandini Dixit from Forest Water Conservation Society. Sometimes with the internet not there. Oh, hello. 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 
Hello. Um, yeah, the, I think the connection is a little bit weak. Um, are you able to unmute and share with us a little bit? A little bit, barely. Can you try again? Okay. Give me one minute. Okay. Um, I'll come, maybe come back to you in a little bit. Um, and we have Inadina Kivarisic. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Um, Inadina, who has joined us, would you like to share with us? Maybe a little bit later. Maybe a little bit later as well. Um, I will go on to Smith. Good to see you, Smith. <laughs> Would you like to say hello and share with us? Oh, be sure to unmute your mic so we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, Judy, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Oh, awesome. Good evening. It's um, good to know that down here today is Sunday and. Um, I'm so happy to be here today and I'm so excited and um, uh, once again um, happy holiday to everyone and then uh, yourself. So uh, for me, um, uh, 2020 has been a trying moment for actually everybody globally because of the pandemic, you know, and it's been a trying moment for us here. But one thing we did was to look out for the vulnerable, you know, because of uh, the first even more challenges. So, um, government down here hardly give them hearings. Okay, people um, don't uh, support them that much. So, I had to come up with an organization or an initiative called Voice of the Vulnerable to support these um, privileged and uh, undeserved persons in my community. So, we had to, because during the COVID 19, we had to look out for them, you know, sensitize them, support them with some relief material so we hope that in 2021 we are going to do more engage other stakeholders you know uh engage um, other organizations partners um government you know so that they see more to help the vulnerable because they have the worst hit trust me they have the worst hit. so we keep advocating and promoting peace you know, within our community and globally i'm so happy to identify with the international conscience uh, so i can help this body and I'll keep uh, putting my voice uh, as much as I can. So thank you so so good to hear from the one and we hope for a better treat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Smith. And yes, we do look forward to more of your efforts in the future as well. Um I've we don't get to travel now, so this will be the best way for us to see what is happening to make sure each other are safe um, with the pandemic. We do have the preventative measures manual to share with us everyone on our website, so feel free to make good use of that. It's on the IC Day website resources, um, the manual for disease prevention to help all of us stay safe in the pandemic um, and hope to see everyone become better. Thank you, Smith. And next we like to welcome so <laughs> next we like to welcome Preeti Butella uh, from Venketswa Global School in India. Hello, are you with us? Hi, Hi. yeah, I'm there. Good evening from India. Thank How are you, you all? Yeah. <laughs> so um, my school actually we are into a lot of, uh, we call it as the eco club activities, wherein we have uh, oh, something wrong with this. Uh, uh, should I just, uh, you can, can I join again? Yeah, can you give you me? You want to try uh, turning off the, something wrong with Yeah, me? you can try turn off the camera and then turn it on, see if that works. Or okay, sign Okay, let yeah. me try once. Um, I thought I'll sign out and join back again, maybe. Okay, Just give yeah. me a moment, please. One moment. <laughs> okay. Thanks. We can try that. All right. In the meantime, um, Mr. Amrani, are you able to uh, connect with us? Mr. Amrani, we look forward to... I saw your beautiful smile, but we can hear you. Okay. 
I think everyone. Is this feels- better? Yes, perfect. We can see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You. So uh, we at uh, our school have a lot of uh, plantation drives, and uh, this year being a pandemic. so we had asked students you know to plant their trees the plants at home and see them grow so it was uh, can you hear me judy yes perfect yeah so uh, sensitizing students about the pandemic that's going on and uh, i think uh, we have been able to touch lives and you know the children understand the sensitivity of the time and we really hope that we will bring change in the society with our students and joining your uh, prestigious organization gives us more uh, you know opportunities to work together thank you Thank you so much. I'm glad that the technical difficulties worked out just fine. Um and we are coming to the end and I know a few of our friends have been with us and perhaps this is the opportunity for us to hear your voice. I don't know for so long. Hello. Oh. Hello. We got you. Perfect. Oh. Maybe not. Uh that was uh, Nadini from the Forest hello. Conservation. Yeah, hello. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello everyone. Can you Hello. Can you hear me? Can hear you. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Please go. Hello. 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 Good morning, and I'm from Chhattisgarh. Working at a school. Okay, now I'm in the middle of my. You know, the it is still and it is almost means a half, and we doing planting. Other land, so I planted more than hundred plants, and in the half we are doing this because not only we can move fast and for which to continue, we are also like every three days. We will plant of matias the days that trees. So I personally believe that climate change is the change itself. Not like it's not a an issue. It has the question everyone has and take part. It's we should not think like you know that someone else would do. So, so we also have to come together. Saving the environment. Our under this our awareness for the pollution in as well. One. Thank you. Yes, we all need to take the initiative to do something. So thank you for joining us and helping us through the technical difficulties. Mr. Amrani, I believe you may be pulling us to the end. You are unmuted. Would you like to share with us, Mr. Amrani? Yeah, it's very difficult to get you to be honest. Hello? Hi, we can hear you perfect now and see you. Yeah. It's very really difficult to <laughs> to contact with you on how you know. <laughs> Thank you. I have so been trying here for many times. <laughs> You've been so, trying very hard, okay. and I think you have the um, opportunity. Hello, to help us, how are you? We, we haven't seen you. you for a long time. Yes, how are you? To be honest, we are missing you. <laughs> Thank you. We have. We'd like to see you in, in Algeria next time. <laughs> Thank you. So we have about <laughs> It's better to to come to our country, you know, to see 
to see everything here, you know. We've got many things different from you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we can't travel right now We're using virtual platform, but it's always going to be a great pleasure to be able to visit each other in different countries. It's a different type of connection, but for now, yeah. we can do this. What, are, what do you think? What are your, your ideas of how we can improve next year? What can we do to make next year better? Next year, we would like to... to uh, we would like uh, to... Uh, I mean to welcome uh, you to visit Algeria. Uh, Algeria is, is very good country, you know. We'd like uh, to make a good connection with you, and you are always making things uh, only uh, separate from us. And we'd like to 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 work together and to share uh, everything with us and to see our culture, our uh, civilization, our uh, things. Our students, we are always uh, uh, trying to, to, to explain them to new civilization. Uh, we, we are always trying to, to, uh, to tell them about love and peace and coexistence and uh, also trying to, 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 to explain them everything uh, about uh, solidarity and uh, hope for, for the future. Uh, and we, we are, um, we think next year we, it's very bad, uh, you know, to be honest with the coronavirus, we uh, discover something which is uh, new in, uh, in coronavirus in Great Britain, as you might know. And uh, we, we've got a good relationship uh, uh, with, uh, with others, mainly with uh, Asian uh, people, with, uh, I mean, uh, with uh, Vietnam, with Thailand, with Philippines. And we are working together in order to establish peace for the world, in, uh, in order to establish also peace in North Africa, you know, because uh, uh, it's very difficult for us uh, uh, to to uh, I mean to the uh, to 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 share our ideas and our philosophy and uh, our project of hope with uh, with European. They are always thinking they are super than us, but in reality they aren't because uh, uh, as uh, as you may know uh, the 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 deaths, the deaths of coronavirus is, is more higher in, U, in Europe. Uh, for, for instance, in Algeria, we haven't got uh, a lot of uh, things. We've got uh, about uh, 20 and 25, sometimes uh, 30, 35 deaths only a day, you know. Uh, but in, in Europe, there is a lot of higher because uh, they don't uh, share uh, everything with us if they are going to share uh, uh, their own uh, philosophy and their own culture and their own political things, they are going to, to uh, I mean, to succeed, you know. Uh, that's what I think now, because uh, we've got uh, one, uh, one nation, one civilization, one love, and one coexistence with others, you know. Uh, so we are working now with, uh, uh, with the Philippines, uh, with the University of Philippines, University of Vietnam, uh, and also with uh, Thailand and China as well, we are with, uh, with them. But uh, we don't work uh, as it's supposed to be with European. And we'd like to, to, uh, to have next year a good uh, relationship. Where, and uh, because uh, we don't have to think uh, that you are, you've got, uh, I mean, um, that your superiority than us. That's what I mean exactly in our in our uh, philosophy. Uh, this is the way we are. This is the way we live. This is the way the, the, the way we the, the way we are and the way we uh, we live in our uh, society. Uh, for instance, let's say if, uh, Muslim are, uh, are are very open. Uh, they want to to uh, to have so, so, uh, solid, so solidarity with uh, with everyone in, in the world 
but uh, they think that the others think that uh, always uh, they haven't got uh, uh, inferior th things and they've got uh, complex things and, uh, and so on. So thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity to speak uh, again. And uh, I hope to see you thank in you. Algeria. Uh, I'd like to, to, to welcome you in Algeria because as, uh, as, uh, as I told you, Algeria is between Tunisia and Morocco, and uh, we are struggling always to have something better and better than we uh, to be because of the coronavirus. Uh, that's what we. So I hope you will see you soon. And yes, we will thank you. you so I will. I would like to invite all of our participants. <laughs> make a list of all the places you want to go and i think as i told you <laughs> yeah as i told you last time uh, you're welcome to eat couscous couscous is very good <laughs> yeah it's cheaper <laughs> most of them uh, to be honest most of the american uh, are always spending their holiday in in, uh, in spain and great britain and uh, holland and uh, in in europe yeah, uh, Europe is very uh, is, is 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 too expensive for uh, for, uh, for you. And uh, Algeria is <laughs> Algeria is cheaper than them. Welcome to Algeria. As I told you before. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Very much. Thank Thank you very much for your uh, for, you for, uh, for your... giving me this opportunity. And my wishes to all to your uh, president and to uh, no no to uh, uh, respectful. And uh, we'd like to, uh, to see here in our house in, in, in Algeria. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Omran. I'm sorry Thank about you. that if I do <laughs> <if I laughs> anything. <laughs> no Just worries. to make you know, something you laughing. Work work because we've thing. got a different culture, different thinking, different um, way of living. And it's better to, to know something about us. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you for your yeah. warm invitation to all of us. Yeah. And, and I, 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 just tell, I, I would like to tell you something. It's better to uh, give my wishes to, uh, to, to that Tunisian who speak about uh, Sidi Bouzid. We, uh, we are very neighbor. <laughs> Of course. Um, I, it's, when, know, we, very, when, when we need to, to, to have a coffee in Tunisia, we will go to Tunisia. And Tunisian, they are, they are coming to Algeria. And also Moroccan, you know, Moroccan people. And the Western Sahara as well. They are always here in Algeria. We, we, are, uh, we support them and we would like to, to have their uh, own liberation and to, to work to, together in order to, to build the new civilization. Maghreb, new, no, 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 no. We, uh, we call it uh, Maghreb or North African countries, uh, which is very strong in North Africa. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. For, we can all feel your your energy and your warm welcome. And I think it, what you kind of concluded on takes us back to how we started um, the idea that the pandemic has stopped us from traveling. But perhaps it's a perfect time for us to think about what else we can do as the um, humanity to change things for the better, our way of thinking. I personally love <laughs> love Europe. I love all the countries around the world. I wish I could travel to every part around the world to see, but for now I can see it through your sharings and it'll, I'll do with that for now. Um, but we look forward to the day where we could make things better and we could travel once again. Um, and so on a concluding note uh, for Full Pal, since its establishment in 2000, Full Pal has traveled to 101 nations to plant the seeds of love and peace, met great friends along the way like you guys, and jointly created wonderful memories that we can forever hold in our hearts. And we appreciate that. We appreciate all of you. And so for 2021, Full Pal has created a calendar to share with you. And for those of you who joined us a little bit earlier, you know that that for International Day of Conscience, we created a calendar from there, that platform as well. So we have two sets of platform um, that has calendars to share with all of you, wishing you that as you look at the calendar, you download it, you can save it on your computer. Each day will be beautiful and be reminded that no matter the challenge, 
It is our conscience, our love, and our positive energy that'll get us going. Can you imagine, as all of you are speaking, that more and more people like us, whether join this platform or um, talk online through our own systems, but about positive energy and about the idea of wanting one world, understanding our differences. Can you imagine that power? I think it could be so great and it could be what will help us to change the world. So now very short um, introduction of the calendar to share with all of you and you can also find it on the Full Pal website. So please enjoy the Full Pal calendar and take a look to see what will be inside. When I first read the concept note about the calendar, I realized that the key message is about how conscience affects a person, expanding the effect to society and then to the world. At first, when reading the conscience maxims for all the 12 months, I didn't know how to express those abstract ideas, I thought about that for days. One day, while reading the Conscience Maxim for January, I started crying because it reminded me of my original hometown far, far away. The Conscience Maxim for every month reminds me of my growth under Dr. Hong's wise guidance. I started knowing myself and seeing the ugly side of me on my life journey. After opening my heart, I made more and more friends. At the second stage of the calendar design, the dimension needs to be modified. At first, I felt bad because I had to start all over, but I reminded myself to be positive about the revision. When I was doing the modifications, I realized there was something missing or something that I forgot to correct. Therefore, I was happy because the more I fixed, the better the result. In recent years, I have been lucky to participate in important international conferences as well as Love and Peace Cultural Exchanges event with Go Pals President. I started paying attention to the world, such as the global trends and issues. Especially this year, the pandemic really affects everyone's physical and mental health. At this critical moment, only when everyone awakens their conscience and all nations strive for global cooperation, can we have the chance to turn the tide and reverse the trend. From the bottom of my heart, I wish the world can transform into a brilliant butterfly from the cocoon of conscience. So that is the full pal calendar and we will be posting the link in the chat box for you to access and download and we also wish to send you um, e-greetings so if you can share with us your email if you haven't received it yet please share with us your email in the chat box we, so we can also send our best wishes your way as well. Um, Dr. Hong really cares for all of our friends and these events and here is a presentation from Dr. Hong Daozi, President of the Federation of World Peace and Love to wish you all the best. Please enjoy. Distinguished guests and dear friends from around the world, good day. The year 2020 has been a critical year for human survival. Since late 2019, COVID-19 has seriously impacted our health, countless lives, economic growth, and social stability in countries around the world. Additionally, natural disasters brought forth by climate change, food crisis, resource inequality, and other problems have sparked arms races among countries. All kinds of crises can be triggered at any time, and various challenges can occur one after another, making people anxious. In the face of such a volatile environment, human solidarity is necessary to achieve world peace and security. The United Nations designated December 20th as the International Human Solidarity Day reminding people of the significance of solidarity. This is why we are gathered here today. We need to realize that all nations are interconnected and all countries and world citizens are in the same boat. Faced with the current global difficulties, no one is an outsider. 
Only when people are willing to open their hearts and work together to solve problems with the power of stability and harmony can we safeguard the earth and walk on the path to sustainability. Solidarity is a unifying feeling and action. It is the embodiment of love, kindness, and empathy. When we lessen the pain of others, do our part to enhance social welfare, sincerely listen to and accompany family members going through a difficult time, and ensure what we do benefits others and ourselves, we are practicing solidarity. Solidarity is not only an act of giving, but also acquisition. When sincerely giving of yourself for the sake of others and lending them a helping hand, we will naturally feel a wonderful sense of completeness, happiness, and joyfulness. Mutual cooperation is at the core of human existence. From the past to the present, human beings have always hinge upon solidarity to survive and reproduce. Solidarity is a chain and cycle of good causes and effects, as well as the best results of mutual beneficial and win-win situations, functional or emotional. Solidarity is a prerequisite for overcoming difficulties and life's challenges, and it is also an important force for the stable development of any society and country. COVID-19 has been the biggest test for mankind this year. However, because of the pandemic, people have come to realize that the solution to the world's various problems resides in their hearts. Real peace resides in the depth of our hearts. At this critical time, it is imperative for us to do what is right. A good thought has the power to change the world. Altruism and compassion, stemming from love and conscience, are the critical forces to change the world. Solidarity among all nations is vital, requiring them to unite based upon the principles of peace, equality, and respect. Culture can be used as a bridge so that people can harmoniously interact. With solidarity, all nations can boost their economic development by taking advantage of convenience and efficiency brought forth by technological advancements. The elevation of a spiritual civilization lies in harmony and mutual support among people. We should care about one another with a pure heart, inspiring aspirations for peace inside people's hearts, and promote the protection and respect for equal human rights. International solidarity should be built upon human rights. Only when human rights are protected will people be treated fairly and justly and can be free from sorrow, fear, war, and pain. Solidarity is more than sympathy for others' misfortune. It is steadfast determination and commitment to the enhancement of social welfare. Solidarity also means bravely revealing injustices, standing up and voicing support for those being persecuted, and urging concerned governments to reform as a government's power should not be misused to violate its people's human rights. In particular, a nation's legal and tax systems cannot be used to abuse its people's human rights and violate their personal freedom and property rights. Such violations are against the spirit of freedom and democracy. In the long run, an abusive country will enter a crisis that will lead to its collapse. The development of a nation should be centered upon human rights protection so that its people will stay united. Solidarity is a social norm and moral virtue. Everyone has to abide by his or her conscience. To practice solidarity, Guided by conscience, we will work for the right goals with solidarity and realize justice. Only with conscience-driven solidarity can we sincerely foster mutual responsibility to cooperate effectively. Well, citizens are encouraged to nurture a happy, kind, and peaceful heart 
to love themselves and others and to love their countries and others countries let's take action to practice respect and love for humanity our families our countries and the earth let's work together in solidarity to create a more beautiful world we have to unite leaders of conscience and consolidate every world citizen's conscience and selfless wishes to realize a culture of love and peace which will affect the sustainable development of the earth and the well-being of future generations with the consensus that we are in the same boat we will foster sincere cooperation among people and among nations and fulfill our responsibilities as members of the human family safeguarding the continued existence of all living things as custodians of the earth it is our duty and the best gift we can leave behind for future generations the distance a person can travel is limited but a group of people can go farther let's exercise the power of love and conscience with one heart and solidarity we shall work together and gather the power of kindness to lay a solid foundation for global peace and harmony the year 2021 is rapidly approaching let us continue to spread the power of kindness May global citizens be blessed with safety and happiness. May all living things coexist and thrive together. May the world be blessed with peace, security, and harmony. I wish every one of you health, safety, peace, and happiness. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Hong. And yes, let's continue to spread the power of kindness together. And like um, what was mentioned yes earlier by Josie, be addicted to goodness. I love that. Um, so thank you all for joining us in your support this year in 2020. We will continue our virtual efforts and events as we march forward to 2021. We hope to see you around then as well. So be safe and be happy. And as we say goodbye for today, please enjoy a beautiful song called No More Wars by Ivan Riccati. Thank you for sending in the beautiful song. Thank you all for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Thank you, time. Mom. Thank you. por poder es lo que el hombre anhela en realidad muchas guerras se han hecho por no entender que el mundo no tiene propiedad cuántas vidas se han perdido por callar esta realidad que muchos tratan de ocultar Tanta sangre han derramado sin pensar Que están provocando una enorme enfermedad El rencor nos vuelve animales La ambición nos puede destruir la injusticia quiero en que se acabe que la gente deje de sufrir que destruye nuestra paz que solo toca la mata se tiene que acabar que pasa con lo mal
Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Este infierno lo tenemos que parar Pues a nuestras vidas no podemos renunciar El rencor nos vuelve animales La ambición nos puede destruir La injusticia quiero que se acabe que la gente deje de sufrir que destruye nuestra paz que solo invocan la maldad se tienen que acabar ¿Qué pasó con la humanidad? ¿Qué destruye nuestra paz? Que solo engloja la maldad Y se tiene que acabar ¿Qué pasa con la humanidad? Thank you, and this is our e-card to send to you, and the link is in the chat box for you to access. Wish you happy holidays, all the best. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Yes, Okay, put your hand up. Yes, 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 Stay blessed. Stay safe everywhere. everywhere. Good luck for the next few years. Happy New Year. Okay, Salaamu Alaikum. Salaamu Alaikum. Thank you. Namaste. Good luck. Good luck, Judy. All the best. Thank you, sir. Good night. Okay, good night. Good luck.